It is time to wake up, you dogs, and go on another adventure. Yes, indeed. Time for another day trip to a very special place of mine. Gassing up the truck. Got a beach bag, water cooler, ice chest, chairs. We're heading for a day trip to Astique Island National Seashore. Again, let's get some miles on the road. It's, uh, it's 5 a.m. Got an early start so we can get a full day. Dogs are ready. Getting some snacks for the road. And sheets. Let's go. Yeah, we've reached the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. About an hour into our three hour drive from our home in Northern Virginia to the Ocean City, Maryland area. The sun is rising over Maryland. And we're in for the long haul of Route 50 on Maryland's Eastern Shore on our way. Okay, quick stop at Estique Market for lunch to take on the beach. Just a few more minutes till we're at the entrance to the park. Snacks, beer and wine, other beverages, hats, beach gear, and anything else you need here at Estique Market. Fishing supplies, postcards, one of my favorite little stops. Check it out and support this little local business. Now that we've crossed the bridge and we're on Assateague Island, you have your choice of going straight for the Maryland State Park or turning right for Assateague Island National Park. We're going right. Either one has a day use area if you're bringing your family sedan, big parking areas, walkable to the beach. And uh, both of them have a nice big campground. You can camp with a tent or an RV. We'll be on the lookout for wild horses now. $15 to get into the national park. You can buy an annual pass for 45 for the whole year. Here we are at the entrance to the OSV. You see Jeeps going, our cars going on the beach right now. 
I'm airing down the tires on our Jeep for better traction on the sand. You want to go down to about 18 pounds, 15 pounds for the best traction on the beach. And it looks like we just made it here on time. Although I don't see the number counter today. But there's a limit of 145 cars on the beach at once. After the beach is full, you have to wait for one car to come off here before another one comes on. There's an area called the bullpen, which is an, a place where you can camp with a truck camper overnight. Uh, we just have the day use pass, so we can't camp, but you can surf fish here at the beach. And uh, it's much quieter than a normal Ocean City or Bethany or Myrtle Beach place. Here is the gate. We are the 130th car on the beach. So we just made it. Maybe next time we'll leave a half an hour earlier. The entrance is pretty bouncy. People all over the place up here at the end. We've picked up a friend who's visiting us for the day. And uh, we're going to the less populated place here on Aztec National Seashore where the crowd is thinning out. And uh, hopefully we have a couple hundred yards of beach to ourselves. <laughs> there are seven miles of beach from the gate to the uh, Maryland, or sorry, Virginia state line. So we're gonna get a nice quiet spot. Here we are, we made it. Punch's first time at the beach. Woo! Go boy, go! Woo! Sun blocking up for protection. The dogs are enjoying themselves, living their best dog life. We have probably 200 yards of beach to ourselves. And it's about nine in the morning. You are also able to hike in and camp at primitive campsites behind the dunes. So that is one more activity you can do here at Aztec. Dogs are tied. Child is occupied. Time sure. for a beverage right. at 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> You've been up since what time? Been up since four. Oh my goodness. Chairs. Women are reading. Dogs are chilling. It's great. This is my favorite place on the planet. I encourage you to check this place out if you are able to so if you're watching this in your home or in your office the weather is miserable or it's cold just close your eyes and just listen to about a minute of this beautiful scenery here
We haven't seen any wild horses yet, but they could be behind the dunes or they could be back up at the campground area eating everybody's trash. Maybe we'll get to see them before the end of the day today. But the bugs have been not bad today. If you get a west wind off the uh, bay in the woods, you have some bad green flies, but so far we've had a breeze off the ocean, which uh, limits how much bugs are out, and it's been pretty enjoyable today. The, do the dogs have ingested quite a bit of sand and salt water. They can't keep sand out of the bowl. This one's pretty much uh, zonked out and it's not even noon. <laughs> Lunchtime, courtesy of Astatik Market. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. A little music, enjoying our day. Dogs trying to eat sandwiches. The tide is coming in. The dogs are not afraid. Uh, we've moved camp back that way a little bit. It's probably about 1 p.m. Still haven't seen any horses or much wildlife. This little one did see some deer, right? Yep, yeah. Two deer. What? And we caught a bunch of sand crabs. Look at these guys here. Look at all them. Oh my goodness. There's little ones, there's big ones. So we're catching wildlife all up and down the eastern seaboard. See, look at all these tiny and big. You want to see the big one? I'm yeah. 77 so far. Sand crabs. Woohoo! After a full day at the beach, it is 4 p.m. My favorite part, packing up everything that's sandy and wet in the back of the car. Putting wet dogs in the back of the car. And then driving three hours home. Woo! There's something up the dunes. Woo wee. Back in the car. Woo! Full day. We're gonna go home uh, south. 9 a.m. till 4.30 p.m. basically. My goodness. But back driving north. Got to go hose ourselves off and <laughs> hit the road back home on this Sunday afternoon. Still haven't seen any horses, so maybe we'll see some on the way out. We finally came across some wild horses, and there are people getting close to the horses, which is exactly what you're not supposed to do. Because you get bit and There's kicked. There's like a sign that says, do not get near horses. And at the end of the day, Assateague has air compressors for tire filling purposes. Get back up the street pressure. And get back on the road. Oh, and also, make sure you clean up your trash. There's trash bins right there. Use them. Don't be a slob. Quick rinse, some clean clothes, and gonna hit the road. It's five o'clock. I think we're in for some traffic on the way back to the DC area. Did you have a fun time, Corinne? Yep. Right. I think the dogs had a fun time. Did you have a fun time? I had a great time. Good. Check this place out if you can. Hopefully, we'll see some more horses on the way out of here. After a long day on the sand and the salt good idea to wash your car especially underneath get all that stuff out of there so you don't have any rust on your car take care of your stuff we just had a nice dinner here at tall tales outside ocean city and the dogs are begging for food the dogs are indeed begging for food and we give them we give them not jalapenos but noodles 
Hey, Pudge. We had a long drive home. I think we're gonna oh sign my. off and call it a trip. Thanks for Daddy joining Longway. us. I guess I didn't need to watch the car earlier. Almost done. Almost 10 o'clock. It's been a long day.